Hi, my name is Dr. Rob and you are watching EHTV. Right now we are coming to you from the Omni Hotel in Dallas, Fort Worth. The reason we're here at the Omni Hotel in Dallas, Fort Worth is because for this weekend, this is Elevation Health University. This is where all of our doctors and our staff come to be able to train to make sure that we have the best technology out there when it comes to helping you to elevate your health. And so right now our doctors, they're training with Dr. Dee Harrison, who is the leading expert when it comes to spinal correction. And then throughout the rest of the weekend, our doctors and our staff, they're gonna be training with experts when it comes to nutrition, when it comes to fitness, when it comes to just helping our patients to be able to get the best results so that we know that you guys are getting duplicatable and reproducible results that are gonna help you to live your life. You can talk about every day being a gift and uh, stopping the smell of roses, but regular life's got a way of picking away at it. Your house, the shit you own, it drags you down. Your kids, what they want. One bad idea after another. I want to tell you two ways actor James Gandolfini could still be alive today and wouldn't have suffered that massive heart attack that he had a few weeks ago. See, number one is this. If he had made it into an Elevation Health office and applied the core four, core education, core function, core fitness, and core nutrition to his life, he'd probably still be here. Number two is this, is if he would have been just hyper-focused on his spine and his nervous system, which is what we call core function, See, as an Elevation Health doctor, we specialize in your spine. So like a cardiologist specializes in your heart, a dentist would specialize with your teeth, we specialize in your spine, and that's important for two reasons. Number one is this, our spine, this right here is what holds us upright, right? We call this our, our posture. Number two is it, it houses and protects the most important organ in your entire body. That's your central nervous system. This is important because just like Gray's Anatomy, the textbook says, says that it controls all systems inside the body. This includes your heart. That's why this month we're talking about heart health. See, as a result of stresses that happen to our, our bodies, um, some suddenly like a slip or a fall or a motor vehicle accident or other stresses that happen over time like poor sleeping habits, sitting behind computers for hours, these stresses cause the bones in our spine to shift out of alignment. And when they shift out of alignment, that misalignment is called a subluxation. You remember that word? That subluxation acts like a, a dimmer switch on a wall. What it does is it starts to block that energy. It turns it down so it can no longer get to the organs inside of our body. And over time, it causes those nerves to, to weaken, deteriorate, and then it ultimately ends up leading to disease wherever those nerves need to get to, which are the organs inside of our body, like our, like our heart. Now, when our spine shifts or the bones shift out of alignment, can you see how my posture changes like this when I do that? It distorts our posture, and now that's gonna put stress on our entire spine, not allowing those signals to be able to get the organ systems in our body, leading to that deterioration, ultimately disease. Now here's something that's very important to understand is that when that energy can't get through this area, it can't get to the heart and then over time, it ends up stopping and now you have the heart attack. In fact, I was just talking to one of our practice members yesterday. She was telling me how she had originally come into her office because she had some, some pain in her lower back. She had had a ruptured disc that caused the pain and because of the ruptured disc, she had surgery. Well, the surgery failed to the point where she couldn't carry her grandkids, she couldn't do the things that she loved, she couldn't exercise, so she was left suffering and hopeless, and she knew one thing, and, and that one thing was that she didn't want to have another surgery and continue to keep on living that way, and so somebody referred her into an Elevation Health office, we did the consultation, we did an exam, we took x-rays of her spine and nervous system, we showed her how her spine was out of alignment, she had postural distortions, she had subluxations that were blocking and interfering with her body's healing abilities. We started adjusting her. We started her on a program. She was doing a rehab for her spine as well. And as a result, she's not experiencing the pain that she was in before. She's able to 
hold her grandkids. She said that's the best thing that's happened because nothing interferes with her and her grandkids. So she'd do anything to make sure that she could be able to do that. Something that she told me yesterday was completely a surprise to her, and that's this. She was diagnosed with idiopathic cardiomyopathy. This is a disease of the heart where the muscles begin to enlarge, causing blood pressure to go up. It overworks the heart and can lead to a heart attack. It makes the heart work harder. So since starting care here at Elevation Health, her blood pressure is down to normal. All of her triglycerides are back down to normal as well. And she's lost 10 pounds. She was visiting with her cardiologist yesterday and her cardiologist asked her what she was doing and why her blood test and all her values would be back to normal. And she said, I'm seeing a chiropractor. The cardiologist responded back to her and said, continue to keep on doing that. Now here's something that I want you to understand and this is important. Chiropractic care is not a treatment to lower blood pressure, okay? Because what we do to get you functioning better is to realign your spine so that there's no longer tension on the spinal cord so that the energy is not blocked and the energy can go from the brain down to the rest of your body to support your body's natural healing abilities. Your health is all about function, the function of your spine and the function of your nervous system. And so in order to support this, there's three things that I wanna leave you with today. So number one, make sure that you're making it to all your visits in the office. See, when you miss just one visit, the spine starts to revert back to its old unhealthy position and that leaves your spine not functioning properly, not allowing those nerves to get to where they need to go, so don't miss your visits. Number two is make sure that you're doing your rehab at home. If we prescribe two times a day, do it two times a day. That rehab is there in order to be able to make sure that the ligaments and the muscles that hold your spine up are where they're supposed to be, so they're holding your spine into position, helping you to be able to hold your chiropractic adjustments longer. And last but not least, number three is invite your friends and family members to experience the elevation health difference. One out of two people in our, in our country are experiencing heart disease. That means 50% of people, right? Chances are you know one of those people. So make sure that they get into the office to get their checkup at an Elevation Health office. So for Elevation Health TV, I'm Dr. Rob. Remember to let Elevation Health help you to live your life.